Ladies and gentlemen, how y'all doing? Welcome on in because today Microsoft is not stopping. Okay, so Microsoft and Sony, they just went absolutely nuclear, guys. We're living through the end times uh, with this situation. It seems like that this is going to be ending very soon. So it seems like maybe they're going to go for another Bruh. year. Maybe they're going to go for another year. So check this out. Drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're brand new. Obviously, GTA 6 is trending. I, I did make a video earlier today because GTA 6 online gameplay got leaked. Oh, shit. Yep, and they took it down. So uh, check that video out. I made a video on it earlier today today and i'll have an update on that one uh, probably tomorrow but microsoft has, has said 10 years is long enough for sony to develop rival offerings to the call of duty franchise should xbox acquire activision shooter series stop the cap and, and that's what we're talking about here ladies and gentlemen so right after they said that a lot of people went just crazy people went mad people went in ganging style and a lot of people are looking at the situation we got like some sony ponies out here sony ponies are going in ganging style we got the x bots patrolling they're going in ganging style let me know if you play on sony ponies or the xbox uh i play on the sony ponies but guys i mean you're not gonna believe this okay um man came out so that meaning that in 10 years they plan on pulling the rug from under playstation with Call of Duty. Kevin came out. Kevin just, oh, look, Kevin just went crazy. He says that this, this is absolutely correct. The idea that Call of Duty could even maintain supremacy for another 10 years is also wild. Bumbaka. Guys, I want to know your thoughts on it. And we have the homie Sony Pony uh, Dreamcast guy making a video on this situation. This is wild. A and the fact that, my guy, you're not going to believe this, okay? So the FTC has filed a complaint against... <laughs> Microsoft for refusing to provide requested documents after 24 requests to do so. Bumbaka. Man, Microsoft is out here just... Microsoft just went crazy. They're like, bruh, we ain't gonna answer to your dumb asses out here. FTC is like, if you're gonna say that, then we're gonna cock block you and then you're not gonna be strong and independent. Guys, check this out. Microsoft and Sony are still at war over the Activision Blizzard deal. Obviously, Team Xbox is trying to buy this $69 billion company and, well, PlayStation isn't pleased about it. Well, over the course of the last couple weeks, Sony has a very specific complaint. Yeah. We need Call of Duty. They mm -hmm. keep saying that. Call of Duty is just too big. It's too powerful. I mean, it like, to be honest, though, it is kind of facts. It makes Sony look weak, though. Let me keep a buck 50, but yo, Call of Duty, everybody buys it. Everybody complains, but everybody buys it. Let's it's too be real. profitable to ever let it exist only on the Xbox. Well, now, Microsoft has officially released a statement today essentially saying you have 10 years to make your own Call of Duty. Oh, shit! And that's where it is, ladies and gentlemen, because a lot of people are now wondering, but you said that you're gonna keep Call of Duty for good. My God, they never said that. Bruh. They never said that. And listen, man, I do play on Sony ponies, but but at the end of the day, in a good world, obviously no games would ever be exclusive to any plastic. But the fact of the matter here is that they bought it, they paid $69 billion. And if this deal goes through, my God, they're gonna do anything. They, they can do anything they want to. For example, right like if you if you bought a game for 70 dollars right are you gonna give that game away for free to somebody just just think about it you're not gonna do it even to your homies you're gonna probably borrow but the next day the next week you're gonna be like you'll give me that back right i paid i paid good money for that i paid 70 dollars so guys this time they paid 70 billion you, you cannot make that money by growing nesquik in the backyard ladies and gentlemen it, it, it don't work like Bruh. that and then maybe it's going exclusive but let's take a look at that What's up, Gabriel? Guy, guy, guy here. Hi, hope you're Hi. having a hope great day. If you could like if this video like and this subscribe, video, subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah. If you haven't already. Now, real quick, this is not a console war video. I'm not going to talk about who's right or who's wrong, but I do find this wrong entire mess to be incredibly interesting because people seem to be incredibly pissed about it already. Pissed equal mad. People are angry. People are mad. And we love it over here, okay? Especially like, go subscribe right now if you love people when they're mad and they're angry, you know? So here we are over on Twitter.com. This is an article by Video Game Chronicle. Microsoft has said that 10 years is long enough for Sony to develop a rival to Call of Duty should they acquire Activision Blizzard. Essentially what's been happening is that, well, right now, Xbox Bruh. is shopping around the idea of what happens if we fully own Call of Duty. Who's going to win? Who's going to lose? And My so- My guy, whoever, whoever owns Call of Duty, it's just kind of like game over. That's like step one. You won the fight before it even started, right? Call of Duty, ladies and gentlemen, Bruh. Call of Duty is massive, okay? Let, let's be real. I complain about it. 
you complain about it. I feel like that you complain a lot more than me. Bruh. But nonetheless, I make videos complaining about it. Let's just keep a buck fifty Bomba because God. the game has been so shy. So it has been really bad, especially Modern Warfare 2. It was supposed to revive Call of Duty, and it kind of did for a month. Right? People were liking it, but then people were all of a sudden, there was no content, they were not listening to feedback, they took their fingers, uh, put it right up in their ear hole, took the thumb, shove it right up their ass crack, 3,000 devs, and right now the conspiracy here is that uh, this game, Modern Warfare 2, wasn't even made by 3,000 devs, it was made by the AI. Bruh. That's kind of like the conspiracy going around. But Call of Duty is massive, right? It's the NBA, it's like the Madden, it's like the FIFA. Everybody complains about it, but everybody still buys it every single year because there are no other games that are similar, or maybe if they are similar, they, they, they just cannot compete because Call of Duty has a strong brand. It's a strong branding. The only time Call of Duty is afraid, the only time Activision is scared uh, to release a Call of Duty is when the Big Daddy Rockstar Games comes out. Oh shit! Oh, and yeah, you know they are about to hit us up with that GTA 6 probably in the year like 2077. They've been offering actually. any company that wants it a 10 year contract. A decade of Call of Duty. Now, so far, a bunch of streaming platforms have accepted this contract, along mm. with Nintendo. Meaning yeah. that a bunch of different services, streaming services, are going to be able to play some version of Call of Duty via cloud gaming. And apparently, if this deal goes through, they're going to try and put Call of Duty on the Nintendo Switch in the future. Well, Sony is... And like a lot of people are like, yo, how is Nintendo going to be able to run and they cannot even run their own games? Bruh. And yeah, it's probably gonna be five fps or you know the, the 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 opposite the other side of the story here is that apparently nintendo xbox know that nintendo eventually gonna come out with a brand new handheld so that that could be uh, the thing not taking the deal and honestly they seem to be incredibly pissed about it because it seems like over in the uk where this court case is happening well, Sony is there personally saying that this is just still not fair. Sony mm. is saying that Call of Duty is irreplaceable. Oh, oh, now, in a lot of ways, I do think that Sony here is correct. Call of Duty, even ah. if you hate it, even if you love it, is it wrong. Your thoughts on this one real quick? Yo, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, hit the bell, hit the bell. We're trying to stream once a week, twice a week. We upload videos every single day, okay? We got we always talking about the Sony ponies and the Xbox, okay? But listen, man. Sony, uh, there are a lot of things Sony came out with recently that, uh, y you know what, it makes them look weak. But I'm gonna keep a buck 50. It's Microsoft's job to have the deal go, go through. It's uh, Sony's job to make sure the deal gets blocked. Both of them are just playing their playing their cards here, ladies and gentlemen. And at the end of the day, if you really get mad over that, you, you need to reevaluate your life. Bruh. Because they really don't give a damn about it. Once, you're, once you pass away, they're gonna be sad that they lost 60 bucks. Uh, nowadays, it's like, what? Uh, 70 70 dollars that they could have made off of your dumbass and my dumbass too both of us both of us combined right so Bruh. it doesn't really matter having a conversation is good but getting mad over that that's just pointless right i mean most of you guys are giga chat so you understand but the fact of the matter here is that sony knows and you know it i know it guys we complain about it every single year but call of duty is the biggest game on the planet Maybe not the biggest game uh, on the planet. Uh, GTA 6 is gonna be the biggest game that is gonna be, in terms of like a uh, paid premium game, Fortnite is kind of like a biggest game, let's be Bruh. real. Uh, I know, I know, sad, but I know. An I know. incredibly powerful brand. Right here is their official statement. <laughs> it's gonna sound ridiculous, but this is the actual words from Sony themselves. According to 2019 study data, the importance of Call of Duty to entertainment in general is indescribable. The brand is the only video game IP to break the top 10 entertainment brands of all time, joining powerhouses such as Star Wars, Damn. Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, and Lord of the... You know, that is true, though, because, like, Hogwarts Legacy did, what, 12 million in just a week alone, and that is because, like, uh, everybody, the Wokies wanted to boycott the game, and in return, they kind of <laughs> they kind of helped the, help the game sell even more, so it's a... Uh, oh, my God! Rings. Call of Duty is so popular that it influences users' choice of console, Essentially, they're coming out and saying, look, we need Call of Duty mm. because people buy PlayStations to play Call of Duty. Now, even if you completely despise Call of Duty... Uh, guys, be honest. Did you want in the comments in the chat if you bought PlayStation for Call of Duty? Personally, I bought it... Uh, because my daddy bought me that Bruh. yeah and then i kind of stuck with it you know what i'm saying so for me it's not that that, that case 
but but surely like I'll, I'll keep a buck fifty if the if, if, if the exclusivity black ops 3 was the first uh black uh call of duty game to have exclusive content in terms of like uh, it, it switched over around black ops 3 if i'm if i'm not mistaken if black ops 3 had exclusive content over on xbox and it, i was doing youtube at the time right so i would have bought xbox for call of duty 110 percent. but would i ever bought xbox if i was not doing youtube uh just for call of duty that i'm 50 50 because black ops 3 zombies is my my favorite okay i love that i love that i i enjoyed that so maybe i would have uh bought it so in that regards it's kind of 50 50 from my end but in terms of youtube 100 oh, because we're in that 10 years later they're gonna make it exclusive this and that and if it goes exclusive obviously it's a big maybe uh but chances are very high based on what they just said right here y'all gotta make uh, a 10 years long enough for sony to develop rival offerings so they're dead ass saying that like sony look uh, listen here come on come here you dumbasses 10 years is more than enough for you to come out with a rival call of duty product and i would say yeah 10 years is just plenty for them and i bet they're probably working on it they're probably like scared and they're probably like uh you know what oh my god oh my god i gotta work on it i gotta work oh, on it oh, they shaking. probably are but at the end of the day they just don't want to lose call of duty because call of duty is just massive bro it's massive they they want to come out with a new call of duty this year maybe you're gonna complain maybe i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna complain if it's bad yeah. i'll give you that i'll give you i'll give you the facts on the channel so hit the bell uh but but man as a brand or don't care about the series itself under Undeniably, it is a mega juggernaut. Every single year, it is the top selling game. It's kind of insane to consider the fact that yeah. Activision manages to just sell the same style of shooting with different maps and True. different guns every single year and keep making billions and billions and billions of dollars. He's not wrong. wrong. I, I know a lot of you are like, yeah, 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 I, I, I don't like green cats guy. I don't like guy guys. Like, uh, he, he's spitting facts. At least here, he's spitting facts, guys. Like, Stop it. But it's I think the same game. It's interesting that but historically, Call of Duty has primarily sold best on PlayStation and now some Sony is terrified that they're going to lose it. Now, mm. people are understandably very much reading into this headline. They are saying, okay, even if Microsoft gets Sony to sign Ow. that 10-year exclusivity contract or that, that non-exclusivity contract, meaning that for the next decade, we will have Call of Duty on PlayStation, we'll have it on Xbox, we'll have it on PC, and of course, we'll have it on streaming services. They're basically saying, without explicitly stating it, you have 10 years to make your own Call of Duty, and if you can't do it, that's on you. Now, people have definitely picked up on this. They're stating, Bruh. without stating it, that they want this off the PlayStation. This what? is absolutely correct. The idea that Call of Duty could even maintain supremacy. Yo, that's Kevin! That's Kevin! Bruh. We. Oh, shit! Oh. Yeah! That's the Kevin guy! That's the Kevin guy, bro! We just talked about him though, damn! For damn. 10 years is also wild. Microsoft is basically admitting that they're making it exclusive after 10 years, after numerous oh, accounts of Phil Spencer directly saying he wouldn't do that. It's interesting to me that everybody seems to be, I, I feel like people are getting very personal about this right here 10 years is long enough for xbox to develop a call of duty rival as well this is the major sentiment i feel like i'm seeing the most is people saying like okay if you're gonna act like making a call of duty rival is just so easy why are you buying activision blizzard why aren't Dial. you making a call of duty Dial. Rival? why are you Dial. i mean that that is straight of facts though that is straight of facts but i feel like 10 years is long enough to come out with something decent e enough but again, man, people are so used to it with Call of Duty. Like, here's the thing, right? If there is a shooter game, big shooter game comes out tomorrow, the finals right now is looking very good. But is it going to be on console? Uh, PS5 and Xbox, uh, yeah, we heard yeah. it's going to be. But right now, you cannot play. It's like private beta, PC only, right? That game is genuinely looking good. Like, I looked at it and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Oh, I'm, shaking. I'm shaking, I'm shaking, right? People started shaking, people started doing helicopters, uh, whatnot. And it was quite good to see. Like, I love when the game gamers are not looking like this i love when the gamers are looking like this you know what i'm saying like uh, Bruh. i love that i love when gamers are not mad and we have something to look forward to and right now it seems like the fps scene got something to look forward to right 
But the the fact of the matter is that people are still gonna be like, that's not Call of Duty. That's the finals. We don't care. We don't care. Uh, you, you know, there will be a lot of people that will say that, but a lot of people will, will migrate. They will understand that there uh, there are more games than just Call of Duty out there. Call of Duty is just one tiny game. It's not tiny, but but you get the idea, right? It's kind of wild, right? Because Call of Duty, NBA, the FIFA's, the the Minecraft. Minecraft is actually good. Bruh. Uh, uh, but, but, but you get the idea, right? Call of Duty, FIFA, Minecraft, NBA, Fortnite, GTA Online. These are the top games. People know life these games every day. Obviously, there are other good games that exist, but most people, they don't give a damn about it. The casuals uh, only play these uh, type of games. It's just kind of sad, but it is what it is. Expecting the competitors to do something that you yourself haven't really attempted. Other than, of course, I, I, I do think... Xbox definitely <laughs> wins in shooters in general. I mean, what? I'm a big fan of Gears of War. I mean, there's been some problems with Halo Infinite, but I think the actual gunplay itself is still incredibly fun. A lot of people, though, are saying Microsoft is the last publisher that should be making claims like this. In fact, if what, what? they're saying is true, they wouldn't need to Yo, that's the homie Sony Pony MBG, bro. Like, holy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Microsoft is the last publisher that should be making claims like this. In fact, if what they are saying is true, they wouldn't need to buy Activision or Bethesda. Microsoft has had ample time to do the exact thing they are claiming their competition should do. Damn. By Activision and Bethesda, Microsoft has had ample time to do the exact same, their claim, the exact thing that they're claiming the competition should do. I mean, it's interesting to me that right now Microsoft is still trying to claim two things at once. Xbox Bruh. is trying to pretend that buying Activision Blizzard isn't a big deal, that this isn't going to end up leading to tens of billions of dollars of profit, but simultaneously, they're having to pound their chest and claim that this is good for the entire industry. And a lot of people are basically saying, okay, well, even best case scenario, Bruh. will this be good for Call of Duty? Now, Microsoft is having to make some very funny promises. They are saying that even if Call of Duty comes out on the PlayStation in the future, we promise that it will still be optimized. <laughs> Bum it suggests the use of the feature like haptics would make games beyond parody with Xbox game. Bum oh, my god. oh my god, I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. So, there is a real statement that Sony actually released in court where they said, okay, <laughs> if you allow them to buy Call of Duty, and even if they put COD on our console, yeah. what happens if they make the PlayStation 5 version worse? What if they choose to make it crappy? Because, I mean, technically, there isn't any sort of enforcement man this is actually wild yeah sony did say that <laughs> if the deal goes through they will make our games bad they will uh, purposely put bugs and call of duty on the playstation version and, and i see where they're coming from but at the end of the day bro xbox don't even need to do that activision will do it Bruh. themselves the call of duty devs are really incompetent they they will do it <laughs> they will do it themselves but understandably but because once microsoft acquires it if they acquire it because right now it is 50 50 let me know what uh, let me know if you think it's gonna go through or not but if if xbox gets it either call of duty gonna turn out to be a masterpiece it's gonna be so good or it's gonna turn out like halo like they killed their franchise guys I i'm sorry but facts are facts okay facts about feelings uh, i know there are some of you out there that love halo and i, I wish that that game was uh, thriving because if more games are thriving then more games will thrive because the, the fact of the matter here is that if one game is doing good other people will copy it and try to do better to compete just like how everybody's trying to compete with Fortnite but, but failing miserably at it. But if, if you have more games succeeding, then that means that you got more things to play. That means that uh, if you have more games to play, that also means that they have to compete with more games. And thus, they have to need uh, to make their, their product better. Because if their product is not better, then all of the people will just uh, stick with Fortnite, Minecraft. And uh, uh, let's just say if Halo was, that good, uh, Halo was thriving right now, people would be playing Halo. As some people are still playing. I'm not saying, no, uh, uh, I'm not saying that nobody's playing. But, but you get the idea, right? That requires you to make your own games good. Well, Microsoft has said, okay, look, even if it's coming out, we promise to do everything, including making sure it still has haptic feedback in the Bruh. triggers for the PlayStation 5 stuff. They basically said, e you guys use haptics uh, for the campaign. Yeah, I can see. But but for multiplayer, I don't use it because uh, if you want your aim to be like those, uh, if you want your aim to be like 9 KD players like Nadia, you know what I'm saying? You, you, do not, you don't want to be using that. But for single player games, it's actually pretty good. Even if we have to make the PlayStation 5 version technically better than the Xbox version, we swear that we'll actually yeah, we do swear. it. 
this but do you swear to god though the entire thing is very funny to me because people are getting so riled up every single <laughs> thing why isn't call of duty just making their own or why isn't microsoft making their own call of duty instead of buying a company microsoft on the other hand has had all this time to pump out some new exclusives to rival playstation and yet they went out and started buying everything I wish Microsoft felt like this about their single player offerings in comparison. So yeah, basically everybody's just pointing out the very obvious hypocrisy of this. Yeah. That Microsoft is saying, okay, Sony, you need to make a new Call of Duty. Ladies you and gentlemen, if you want to see what happened with GTA 6, because we had a new GTA 6 online league, click on this video on the uh, on the screen or click the video on the left uh, because a man got bomb Check these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.